Live a life by design, not by accident. For all of our lives, we've heard set goals, set goals, set goals. And I think we've heard it so much that it's become this cliche of like, oh, yeah, set goals, I know, I've got to set goals. But no one actually does it. Like, let's be honest, how many people do you know who actually sit down and say, this is what I want to do, this is what my life looks like, and starts to make it happen? That's where the problem is. If you don't have a clear destination for where you want to go, you can end up absolutely anywhere. And hey, I'm guilty of it. I've been very guilty of it until I figured it out in my head. My life was going in any direction. I was doing the most random things. At one point, I was a rock climbing instructor, a fencing coach, a DJ, a radio show host. I had a YouTube channel that I did like one video every two years on. I had a street dance crew. I ran under 18 club nights and I worked at a bowling alley. And I was a youth worker. I mean, there were so many different random things going on that I was like a jack of all trades. Master of none. Why? Because I was living life by accident. I was letting whatever happened happen. If I got offered a job, I was like, hey, great, I took it. That's genuinely how I got my first job. I was on a school trip with the sixth form and, you know, we were having fun in this bowling alley. Me and my friend Andy were like laughing, joking, and the manager saw it. Came over and said, guys, you look quite entertaining. Do you want a job as party host here, hosting children's parties? Like, yeah. Absolutely fine, and you know, we got the job. I'm not saying if you get offered a job, don't take it, but what I am saying is, because there was no clear goal, I had nothing to assess that decision from, you know? It was like, it's a job, I'll get paid, hey, I'll take it. That's living life by accident. There's no clear destination. It was February 2013, about 2 a.m. in the morning, when I knocked on my mum and dad's bedroom. I was like, mum, dad, I want to be a motivational speaker and inspire young people. They were like, cool, go do it, you know? and. <laughs> I had this clear vision now and I knew exactly what I was aiming for, so every decision I made was taking me to that final destination. It's like a sat-nav. Now I get to travel all over the UK, speaking in schools, colleges, youth organisations, and when I get into my car, the first thing I do is get that sat-nav out and set a destination. Why? Because if I know my end destination, every decision I make along the way is the right decision to get to that destination. Even if I make a wrong turn, it says, don't worry about it, here's what you need to do to correct that decision. And our life's the same. Have a vision, have an ideal that you're heading for so that all the decisions you make taking you towards that goal. So you need to take control and design your ideal job or career. How do you do that? My action tip for today, write down a list of your hobbies, talents, skills, look at them all, pick out the top ones, figure out what your core passion is like we spoke about yesterday. Once you figure that out and that's clear, then start to design a job or career that you think allows you to hit all of those things. For example, I told you yesterday my core passion is helping young people, but do you know what one of my hobbies was? I always loved acting when I was younger, I loved performing. I also loved media and videos and editing and that kind of thing. Now, to put all those things together meant designing a career where I got to travel around schools, I'm, I'm on stage, I'm, it's not the same as acting, it's less about my ego, but it's more about my other core passion of helping other people. So I'm on stage, I'm helping people, I started a YouTube channel so I could do the video stuff, started a podcast which is on iTunes, so I could do more of the media stuff, all with the underlying theme and the underlying goal of inspiring young people to build their personal brands. So, design your ideal job or career. Design it first, then go out and look for something that matches that ideal design. And I'm not saying go and be an entrepreneur, you don't have to. If you're, if you're into that, go and start your own business. If you're not, go and look for a job that allows you to follow that core passion. If you have that end vision in mind, you know the right university course, you know the right college course to pick, you know which interviews to attend, you know what to read up on. Everything is just so much clearer because your vision for yourself is clearer. So not the ideal job, the ideal career looks like, so that all the decisions you make right now are taking you towards your ideal. If you can live a life where you are genuinely in your ideal job, your ideal situation, you wake up like, I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. So, live your life by design, not by accident. Design is saying, this is what I want it to look like and making it happen. Accident is saying, whatever happens, happens, I'll leave it down to luck. Don't. That's how you end up in the camp of people who are like, I hate my jobs. I hate my boss. And you instead stay in the camp of people who are like, I love what I do and that's the place you want to be. That's how you stay passionate, that's how you have energy, that's how you stay enthusiastic about what you're doing. So please, live life by design, not by accident. Sit down, go over all your hobbies, your passions, your skills, your talents. See what overlaps there are and create a job or career that matches that. And then go out into the real world and start building it. That's today's episode of Design 
Tuesday helping you to design your personal brand. If you found this video useful, click that subscribe button right now and share this video with one person you think would benefit from the message. This is Kamal Hyman reminding you to design your personal brand. Peace. Yes, it's finally here. The personal brand checklist has arrived. I just finished creating it and it is ready for you. If you're watching these videos and thinking, I'm ready to take my personal brand to that next level, this checklist is for you. As well as a checklist, you get to join the Aim A Little Higher tribe and I'm gonna send you an exclusive video where I walk you through every stage of the checklist so I am with you every step of the way. Guys, I wanna help you aim a little higher and stand out in this crowded world. Go to that download link now and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.